October 2nd, 2018, I thought I would take this opportunity on low battery to hurry and fire through a pepper that I probably won't look at again this year. So we figured we would uh, take a look at it now for you. This was a order from eBay. It was Black Pearl Seeds. And we went back and took a look at the order that we had made previously. And the plant does look differently than a Black Pearl plant according to them. So I believe that they actually already have the cross. And this one right here would be a double cross. It would be a cross and then crossed again. But anyways, this is the Black Pearl. We got it from a private seller on eBay. Um, it doesn't seem to quite get the dark colored leaves except where it has struggled in light. I don't know if you guys can really see it. The underneath of these are really green. It's not an all black plant like it should be. It seems to cluster a little bit different. Um, it starts off green and gets these little uh, peppers. Well, I would be a lot more excited if this random cross here was uh, more productive. And these peppers, they're hard and they feel like plastic. So really slow ripening, really low production. Um, it does have a lot of growth. The plants do grow very healthy, but I believe this is the Black Pearl Cross. Here's one of my issues too. We did order some legit Black Pearl seeds from a trusted seller and that trusted seller seeds, we accidentally mixed with the leftovers. So I'll probably call this the stowaway pepper. It's a black pearl cross of some sort, I believe. Not 100% sure on all these things. Uh, these peppers are all new to us. But I thought I'd show it to you real quick. I'll take a ripe one off of here. I will take a darkened one off of here. I'll take a light colored one off of here. And these right here, I believe are a cross from the cross. So I would call it a double cross pepper, but these ones actually are very interesting it won't show up on this light and especially this time of day um, the reason we're going to thumb through pepper plants videos so quickly is because we are about to hit that uh, hurricane weather from hurricane rosa is going to bring a bunch of moisture onto us and uh, we're actually going to dip down into near freezing colds over the next uh, several days starting starting in the next several days but the black pearl um, most likely across the plants don't even get all the way darkened. I think it may be a Phileas Blue cross because the Phileas Blue has a tendency to go upward in about the same amount of groupings. And the, from what I've seen, the Black Pearl, the entire plant should be black. It shouldn't be darkening based on sunlight situations. But anyways, it's still a cool little uh, ornamental plant. We will most likely save some seeds on. They don't really feel edible. They feel hard like plastic. We're gonna cut them open and uh, take a look at them. I am really, really interested in these little pods and what color they're going to change. They look like they are going to change the Black Pearl Cross. So, Black Pearl Cross, Black Pearl Double Cross. So, we're going to take a few of these peppers in and I'll show them to you guys up close. Love you guys. Thanks for watching. Still October 2nd. Uh, 2018 just going to show you guys when we save peppers um, if the pods not too big and doesn't get too soft too easily if it comes as far as smaller pods and ornamentals all we really do is uh, just take this little teeny tiny pod and just leave it out somewhere and let it dry and the seeds are saved in there for you so you have a little nice little package of seeds and um, we really like the ornamentals especially if they're not too uh, floral tasting which a lot of ornamentals can get, so we will just take this and crush it over pizza or something else like that, like an individual serving packet of heat for a lot of these smaller pods. But just wanted to show you that real quick. This is a ripe uh, black pearl from the Black Pearl Cross. I'm going to keep calling it the Pearl Cross from now on, unless I'm referring to the Double Cross Pepper, which is the one that's the other one. We did order these seeds from eBay. On eBay, it was... Uh, Listed as a black pearl, but I think that they may have had a cross because the picture that I've seen after going back and looking at it again is the same plant that we do have. But looking into black pearls and what they should look like and be like, it is got a, several different vari, uh, variations on it that tell me that it is a cross to a different one. But uh, it also had a cross seed in it with what looked like a little, uh, little tiny strawberries that are almost turning out to look like emerald green. So... I think those are really cool. I'll probably take another look into those. We will be saving possibly seeds on these. Um, they start out green, turn like this uh, alien egg looking color. 
and then they continue on up here. My guess, and they are really, really firm. This almost feels like it's a plastic bead more than it's a pepper. So I'm guessing that these, this variety is not very edible either. The best thing for it would probably be just as an ornamental, just to kind of um, show off. A lot of these ornamentals, these pods have tons and tons of seeds in them. So we'll go ahead and cut this open. I don't know if I'll be sticking it in my mouth, depending on heat and bravery at this point, but October 2nd, 2018. Love you guys. All right, so let's cut a couple of these black crow cross ones open. Really, really hard pepper. This is almost just like you would find on a tree berry or some sort of some sort. I do not recommend not using gloves. Um, tons and tons of seeds. So this pod, when it dries, it's going to have probably 20 or 30 seeds in it. Doesn't smell really hot. Um, I'm pretty sure, I'll have to double check, but I'm pretty sure it, it lists the black pearl pepper is supposed to be around 30 to 50K. A lot of those ornamentals are really, really hot. Uh, 30 to 50K would be equivalent to a cayenne pepper. About uh, 5 to 10 times hotter than a jalapeno, depending on the type. But the walls are a little thick on it. I'm going to go ahead and pop out some of the placenta and seeds before I make a horrible choice and I know I'm I'm a big wimp on heat guys so there's not a lot of chance I'm going to be putting scorpion peppers and things like that in my mouth but I will continue to push my personal uh, preference and level of uh, heat but it smells like a typical hot pepper you can almost smell the crispy like regular sweet pepper bell pepper kind of smell to it but you can also smell a little bit of the floral which is kind of a flowery flavor or perfumey flavor that's not hot at all it's pretty hot <laughs> It's the lightning strike heat. We always go thunder and lightning. Lightning's where it just right away sears your tongue, burns. Um, it doesn't really stick around too long. That's more of the thunder. The thunder kind of sticks around. And a jalapeno to me is super hot because it, it sticks around so long. It's more of that pungent thunder kind of heat. Whereas in comparison, a lot of these uh, crispier types, the... How is that on the texture? Horrible. Herbal texture? Yep. This pepper really tastes... It doesn't really have the strong perfumey taste that I was worried about. I can't really think of a lot of feasible reasons to use this pepper though. Because the... Alright, so this is a black pearl cross most likely of some sort. Um, it looks like little alien, green alien pods. The texture on the shell is really, really tough. Scraping the seeds out might have really helped with the heat. And uh, I have a really a lot of success using orange juice when I'm eating hot peppers. It doesn't really get rid of the heat as fast as the milk would or kind of mute it out, but it does uh, remove it. So I don't have to survive as long, especially on lightning strike peppers like this. But the pods are almost plastic in the texture of the shell. Really, really hard. Almost like you could probably dry these and make beads out of them, but has quite a unique pepper just not really flavorful not a lot of uses not really high production and uh eatability so not really completely disappointed the other uh double cross pepper that's out there is looks pretty cool and i might be uh saving seeds on this other than this though i wouldn't really grow it or recommend it other than maybe as an ornamental it is eatable but it doesn't really have anything that stands out as far as flavor or texture everything in that is kind of subpar so a little disappointed in this pepper but it, it did produce a really unique plant these pods are really beautiful they get a really really beautiful green and the other cross that's out there um, it looks like little emeralds that are starting to darken out on the outside rim and stuff but it's not too hot I would say legitimately to me it's only sitting at about 10 or 15 thousand Scoville units it's not sitting anywhere in the heights of that I thought the black pearl pepper was supposed to sit which is like most or, uh, 
ornamentals, which is uh, cayenne pepper heat, which is about 30 to 50,000 Scoville units. That didn't taste like that at all. I could eat this. Maybe it would have been a little bit more with some of that placenta, but I don't know. Not bad. I thought I would show that to you guys. October 2nd, 2018. This is the Black Pearl Cross. Love you guys. Thanks for watching. I fear no man, but that thing, it scares me. No, I, I, ain't, I ain't talking about that freak, all right? He's not here, is he? How do we get this f***ing thing off? One shudders to imagine what inhuman thoughts lie behind that mask. What dreams of chronic can sustain.